to go through and not a lot of time here, so I'm going to be real brief because uh, I do want to get to Godzilla. I, I promised it. I worked on it. I think it's pretty uh, nice. But I do think it's important to mention. I know a lot of people have heard about the CDC, the Center for Control. And I want to show you that you know, one of the more recent uh, reports you may have heard about was back in December of 2018. The CDC reported that U.S. gun deaths reach highest level in nearly 40 years. Everyone heard, excuse me, everyone's heard about this, that the CDC has been keeping, they're the go-to people to show gun deaths. And we've heard, you know, all of the anti-gun groups, you know, the Brady's, and the Brady uh, organization, the nonprofit, everybody that, that hates guns have come out. Diane Feinstein and so many others have used the CDC and quoted their numbers to say that, hey, you know, we have this massive problem and it's not just Chicago because it is really Chicago. But, you know, if you take out Chicago, we drop massively. So, but that's another thing. But they quote this and they say, this is the reason why we need gun control. This is why we need to take away the rights of the Second Amendment. This is why former Supreme Court Justice uh, Stevens John Paul Stevens has said that we need to remove the Second Amendment and to take away the cornerstone of our democracy and to turn the United States into the early stages of Venezuela just before the government came back and decided to run people over and kill them because they had no guns, which is why I oppose that. You, you, that's the answer. That's what happens. And we see this in every single socialist nation. This is always what happens. You lose your firearms. The next thing you know, the government comes back. They're the only ones with guns, and they kill the people. North Korea, China, Russia, Cuba, Venezuela. Name the socialist nation. This is what you see happen every single time. Just a matter of when it happens, but it always happens. So we don't want to lose the Second Amendment here. But they use the CDC to be able to go out and say, hey, you know what? This is, uh, there's a big problem and it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger. It's more and more of a problem. You know what they didn't tell you? Well, what they, you, you didn't hear announced in the news yesterday, which is big, is that uh, according to Think Progress and from the CDC itself, that anti-gun violence activists, they're no longer using the dubious CDC statistics. Again, the, gun, the leading gun violence protection nonprofit is not going to use the numbers from the CDC because the numbers are wrong. That's the Brady campaign. One of the biggest anti-gun, anti-Second Amendment groups in the nation, huge lobbyists down in... Uh, in Washington, D.C., and they don't want to use the CDC numbers. So I had to look into that when I saw that, and I know it's not getting enough attention. There aren't enough people talking about this. Well, guess what? The CDC, according to Think Progress, and I'm going to go off the article itself, uh, says right here, the CDC provides annual estimates of the number of people injured, not killed, by guns. But even the CDC will tell you that its data should be taken with a massive grain of salt. It appended its notes to its 2016 and 2017 findings that warned its figures were, quote, unstable and potentially unreliable, end quote. Stop right there. The CDC is saying that its numbers, that it's reported, that are part of this growth of unprecedented levels in, in January of 2018, the numbers before it were wrong, that they're unreliable. Can you, can you get that? You're being, you're being misled. The quotes from Dianne Feinstein, the Brady campaign, so many other of these anti-Second Amendment groups like Citizen Action and Pro Progressive Leaders of Tomorrow, they're lying to you. They're giving you numbers that are wrong, that are knowingly wrong from the CDC. That is a problem. This is how you destroy someone's uh, freedom. You give them the wrong data, knowingly giving them the wrong data, so that people make the wrong decisions based on that data, and then you can't ever come back from it. There is no walking back. People in Venezuela aren't getting their right to the Second Amendment back 
They're getting killed by the government or starved by the government. They're not getting their freedom back. So, and I, I found this really interesting, and I want to go a little bit further in this article by Think Progress that came out yesterday, June 10th. An analysis by Trace, a nonprofit news organization dedicated to covering gun violence in the United States, and 538, by the way, 538 is a left leaning think tank. They're not friends of the right found that the CDC's recent report of, quote, steady increases in non-fatal gun injuries is out of step with a downward trend we find well, we found using data from multiple independent public health and criminal justice databases, end quote. So, and the emphasis on downward, that's from the article. That's from the analysis by Trace, the nonprofit news organization, okay? That's what they're saying. They're saying that violence, and this is confirmed with 538, the trend is down. I want to go back again. Now, remember, I said the trend is down. CDC report, U.S. gun deaths reach highest level in nearly 40 years. You notice this is not the same thing? The CDC is already telling you their numbers are wrong for 2016, 2017, that their data is unreliable. Then they tell you that, well, gun deaths are up high and everyone quotes it. No one quotes the fact that their numbers in 2016, 2017 were wrong or that the data from the CDC itself says that it's unreliable. But they, everyone told you that gun uh, deaths were up 40%. And then we find out when other groups do the data themselves, it's actually trending down. You know what? That's just wrong. That is wrong. It's again, you're being manipulated. You're being given half the information. And I have to say, shame on the Center for, uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC. Shame on them. A Game of Thrones, shame on them for misleading the public and not going out there and having the biggest press conference they possibly could to tell people that their numbers are wrong, that they have misled the public, and that this information, they shouldn't believe it because they don't know what they're talking about. And when you're quoting bad information, you don't know what you're talking about. This is something that should be far, far, far more public and far more, getting far more attention, and it is not. The mainstream media doesn't want to tell you that. Kind of like what I was talking about in the first half of the show, they're just not telling you things that you should know that make a difference in your life and the way that you're going to vote. That's a shame. That's a shame.